Ooh, what is up guys? Um basically we have a very very strange video for today. Um this is not usual Pokemon video that the guys are accustomed to. This screen that was introduced today, the fourth no fourteenth of April, is about well Star Ocean, a game series I've been a huge fan of since it was released here in Europe, which was ninety eight, though it was released on the Super Nintendo prior 96, um, you should find this series, Star Ocean, and um, basically, it was supposed, or rather try to say that the four, fourth game in the series, which was released 2008, was the last game in the series, and as far as it got, you know, that tend to be well true, but um, today, Square Enix introduced this, and try is actually who has been actually common to be bought up by another company for making mobile games, which we had no idea until this point was a Final Fantasy game. Uh, but they are actually making this Star Ocean 5 game. We got some leaks out that is on GameSpot, and um, we're actually going to go in a bit into that. Like I said, it's, it's super cool. I really, really thought this game series was dead. I never thought I would see this come back, and uh, it means a lot for me. And for, I guess, the community of this Star Ocean series, that this game series is not that it's it's very plausible to come back. And um, the same interview that it's 30% ready, so it means that we can expect a major release 2016. Um, maybe a prior release in, in December in Japan. But definitely we can't expect this to hit the shores of the Western world until probably late 2016 or mid 2016, at least a year. Uh, we still got E3, which is going to hit off soon. I think that's start off in June, so that's like two months away from now. Uh, I'm sure Square is going to showcase this together with uh, their, their new Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy 15. Um, so anyway, let's actually look at the artwork a bit here. Um, they introduced three characters, and um, the main character is called Federal Camus. Uh, then we got Miki Sorvesta and a character named Lilia, which is the young kid, as you can see here. So, as far as we got it, they are from a developed world. For you guys who aren't accustomed to what Star Ocean is, Star Ocean usually is about a developed, I guess, Earthling character being intervened or left out to be in an underdeveloped world and trying to get his way home. It's definitely some, often a, very, a, Rob, a more than a Robin song story. Uh, about you know a bit of a castaway and find a way back to society, and things just turns to be you know your average fantasy game that's a lot of magic and uh, there have something called a reality which in these previous games were a very very complex thing and definitely in the first game reality was believed to be some kind of um, godly power that only the craftiest of people could use. Uh, who wasn't relying on technology and whatnot. They tend to go away a bit from that now, but uh, that is basically what it is, that um, other world, outworldly things happens, and Star Ocean 2 being one of my favorite games, um, reached out on this concept quite a lot. Star Ocean 3 was a major letdown for a lot of fans. It is my favorite, actually, uh, not because of the story, but because of uh, the characters there. It was really, really... Very appealing. Star Ocean 4 was again a step back. A uh, lovely battle system, but relying very heavily on uh, nostalgia and really, really trying to fin it off as a last game, I guess. And uh, well, it obviously isn't that now, which means that this that game is definitely going to be remembered as uh, I'm not gonna lie, kind of flawed, um, sadly. <laughs> But anyway, we got a title. The full title of the Star Ocean 5 is going to be Inquity of Faithlessness. Um, yeah, that doesn't roll off your tongue that well. And it's going to be set in an unsubstantial planet called Faycreed, which is 6,000 years away from Earth. So, I'm guessing, and um, I'm only going to reach out as little as I can, is that the main character obviously seen a bit more developed than the others, so it feels that he is going to be dropped in that particular planet, Fake Reed, and these two characters are a part of that planet. That's as far as we got it. Um, besides that, there are not many things going. They haven't really introduced 
uh, which person is going to make the music, but, you know, Motoyo Sakuruba is always around for that. He's made every original soundtrack for the, for the previous game, so I'm sure he's going to come back for this, definitely. Um, and, well, there aren't two major things that have been introduced. We're like, waiting, waiting for tomorrow for, well, actually to get into more information when their website is opening. But we can look at screenshots, um, just for the hell of it, really. Um... The design look really next gen. It really feels like a next gen graphic, really, really like smooth. Uh, they definitely are still going with that anime style of um, well design, lowering their eyes much like they did there in uh, the fourth game. So, but it feels next gen. It really does. I want to see more of the environments. Really, get a right feeling for it. Um, but as you can see, they're very, very like oh, how do you call it? The look looks like. Your, your average, like, dolls, you know, the um, life-size dolls you can buy. Uh, it's a very, very clean look and definitely looking... It's not looking organic, looking more plastic-like, but it looks like uh, action figures. That is what I'm going at. And as you can see in the lower picture here, which got many fans very glad, is that it looks like Edge Maverick. Yes, the generic name is um, a returning character. It seems to be that way since the main character is besides him. I was really thinking first off that, um, <laughs> I'm not going to lie here, I really thought this was a custom first, but it looks like he's a part of this game. It could be just a cameo or um, setup because we can't read Japanese, obviously, but um, it could be either be that or um, that he actually is an intro of the character. And due to the timeline, he, he should be dead by now. But... Um, I mean, who the hell cares? This is actually kind of cool. And uh, the next scan here is going to be with uh, the first picture that we saw. Uh, some people mention a blue head character. And um, I don't know if I can see that. I think they said this was a blue head one. But for me, this is the same design as the main character. It seems to be quite a reach, if you ask me. But um, yeah. Uh, we can actually read a bit of what it says about the scans. Um, bu -bu 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 -bu. Yeah, I'm not reading it loud, loud because I can't really. Let's see. I want this game to overly take Q from Sergeant and Free and Raw Essence from the, that game. So, right, it's going to be a bit focused on Starship Free's lore. I guess the families from Starship and Free could be interesting, um, being that they are working with the fabric of space and, you know, what really is working. And uh, obviously that turns out to be a quite um, big project that they were working on. And I guess it would be kind of fitting. I'm really hoping to see more from, um, well, the guys from the second game. Definitely Ashton being one of my favorite characters. I really want to see him in 3D. I really want to see him realized. Um, but besides that, um, we just have to find out. There are not that many things introduced or out right now, and it's probably going to come, like I said there, um, soon. And uh, there are things that recently went for Star Ocean Free uh, title screen. It, it looks exactly like the Star Ocean Free. I think they want to um, really, really introduce people to that game, that that's forgotten game. A lot of people went into that game, and it turned out to be... It split this fan base. it really did. Um, yes, yeah, so like I see, this says uh, thirty percent is ready of this game, so get get that, and uh, it's not going to be a story based download the content to the full version release. So that's that's something. Um, I guess that they write that do upset people a bit, but I wonder. I I want my game to be complete. I really do, and this seems to be important both to PlayStation Three and Four. Um, we have to wait to see whether or not, um, well, whether or not it's going to affect it or not. But, uh, Storage, I wonder why they did that, really. Oh, we got more pictures. Hey, I actually missed this. They have updated the size since the last look. That is awesome. All right, let's actually look at this. Um, all right. It doesn't tell us a whole lot. I'm not going to lie. Um, but like I said, they really got that action figure design on him. Um, let's see, we got a green-haired person getting the feeling of Celine from Starshan. Yeah, Starshan, uh, 
two on her with a witch cap and whatnot. Um, I think that's it. That is all the scoop. Um, gotta keep scrolling. No, that that was it. Ah, damn. At least we got a fourth character to do. That is awesome. Um, but yeah. What I wanted to say is, if it is released on the PS3, that means that they're not going to um, make the PS4 that much more stronger. But, you know, we really have to find out how that would pawn out. And if so, um, who knows? This is, this is so awesome. This is so unexpected. I think this came really out of nowhere. Um, so I'm definitely looking forward to this. And I hope you guys have been watching all that too. Um, we are waiting for this to happen. This countdown is I'm going to be so here tomorrow to check this one out. So I want to thank everybody for watching this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, like I said, I'm very excited. Um, I'm usually not like this. This is a game series that I fought, like I said, um, got the cold shoulder seven years ago, you know, not being a suspect for any more games in the future. So seeing that Trias have been working on this, it's really huge. Uh, it means that hopefully we can even see a Veracity profile free in the future, and if so, then, you know, wow, what a thing. So anyway, is it just, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and if so, leave a like, and thank you so much for watching, and uh, hearing me ramble about a thing that I usually don't upload. So guys, take care, and remember, sky's the limit. Bye guys.